The Humane Society of Pinellas is a 501c3 nonprofit organization that's been caring for animals in our community since 1949. Not just an adoption agency, the Humane Society of Pinellas provides life-saving care and services to help keep pets and people together. Their mission is to strengthen the bonds between pets and people by offering an enriching environment for our animals, providing learning opportunities for our community, and matching the right animal to the right forever home. The Humane Society of Pinellas is up next on Bayside. Good morning and welcome to Bayside. I'm your host, Shelly Sanders. We have an old friend of the studio here, Miss Twyla Cole. You are here again. I love it. We all love it every time you come. I swear we should just make this a regular every month occurrence. I mean, you're on often enough. Might as well. We should we let's make it a date for sure. Okay, I'm in. <laughs> and all those that say yes, yes, and everybody in the studio agrees. So, okay, Twyla, let's start a little bit broad. You always bring a friend, and in this case, you've brought Jimmy. Yes. I'm in love with Jimmy, and the smile is ridiculous. But we're gonna get to Jimmy in a minute. I, I just have to address him though. Yeah. Talk to me a little bit about the Humane Society of Pinellas. I know I talked about it in the open, but. But elaborate a little bit, yeah. if you will, for those that haven't, for haven't sure. heard. For sure. Humane Society of Pinellas, we are, we're fortunate to be the largest no-kill shelter in Pinellas County. We've been caring for the community for about 70 years, and we are the, the go-to for, for rehoming animals. So about three quarters of our pets come to us from owner surrender situations, mm. and the other 25% we work with local shelters as, through our shelter transfer program so that we can help our community in getting those pets also into our organization. And we're really lucky dogs right now, they're getting adopted in an average of only 8.9 days. Oh wow. Outstanding. And cats in an average of just over 28 days. Oh wow. So animals really are uh, adopted really, really fast through our organization and it's, for being homeless, it's a great spot for them to be. And the other part of our focus is to really help keep pets and people together, as you touched on. Mm -hmm. So we have a wide variety of programs and services dedicated to helping the public, helping sure. own pets to stay in their homes. Really and truly speaking, just personally, you guys should, I mean, you should be what epitomizes the Humane Society. I mean, you guys go above and beyond. And again, just to remind you at home or even enlighten you, each Humane Society chapter, you are run, yes, you're part of the national organization, but it's run independently, correct? That's absolutely true. It's a and big misconception. Budget. Mm -hmm. Yes, and your budget is quite significant, correct? Yes. So it speaks volumes for, for you in the Bay Area. You're doing a fantastic job because you're able to make that remarkable budget. Over $2 million, if I'm going off memory. You are correct. Uh, on an annual basis. Yep. Oh, could you imagine? Yeah. But, but you do it year after year, and you don't do that without people like you that step up, come in and volunteer, offering up financial donations. I mean, the programs that you have between camps during the summertime, you have the Senior Connection, you have Pet Pantry. I mean, the list goes on and on and on and on. And this is the one of the main reasons we have you on so often is because you have entirely too much going on over there to address in one particular episode. So let's get down to the fur, right? Yes. Let's talk about Jimmy. Yes. Tell me about Jimmy. What is his story? Absolutely. So Jimmy came to us not the traditional way. He was actually found as a stray right down the street from us. Mm. So our shelter is right off of McMullen Booth, right in the center of Clearwater. So it's a very, very busy road. Uh, right down the road at Drew and McMullen Booth intersection, he was found running the streets. So it was actually on 7-Eleven, so that's an easy date to remember. So he, was been, he came into our organization. We held him for that obligatory stray hold. So sure. if his owner truly was out there hunting for him, he was available <laughs> to be found. Once that hold went up, uh, our doctors took a look at him and he actually had a horrible periodontal disease. Aww. So fortunately, we have a full medical staff, um, actually two teams in our shelter, one that cares for the public service 
in our pet clinic, but a veterinarian and a technician team of animal caretakers that just care for our shelter pets. So through that, Jimmy was able to get all of his blood work done, okay. uh, extensive senior blood work up, and then a dental. So they, uh, they laugh and they say that the left side of his smile is open, but uh, he'd had quite a few extractions. So his teeth were actually in really bad shape. So he's still on the soft food hold. And in the next couple days, he'll be released and available for adoption and feeling much better. And I have to say, for a stray, you would think they'd be a little timid or nervous, especially where he was found. Uh -huh. This dog is completely <laughs> relaxed. And as a matter of fact, look at him. He's smiling. I, I love know. this smile. It's so crazy. You can't resist to pet him. <laughs> he hasn't been nervous since he got here. Look mm -hmm. at that. I mean, clearly, he's so relaxed. He's actually sleeping. He knows where he belongs. That's what a shelter pet's like. <laughs> <laughs> so fantastic. Yes. So I know you've got a lot of exciting things, mm -hmm. a lot of um, a lot of the monies that you raise don't just come in through financial donations, but they also yeah. come through fundraisers. Yes. So talk to me about some of the things that you have coming up. Well, we are, we've got two major things happening right now. First of all, we have our Challenge Match Grant, which is a, a member, an anonymous member of the community has challenged us and our supporters to raise $100,000 before the end of the year. And he's gonna match that $100,000. And these are dedicated funds that are going to help us uh, increase a few different specific programs. So our Senior Pet Connection, which delivers food to shut-in seniors throughout Pinellas County. We are, we're currently at about 175 homes. We're gonna be going up to 300. Wow. We also, and that is completely donor supported, donor run, volunteer delivered, uh, but he's going to, or this grant is going to allow us as we increase these homes, we're struggling right now to keep enough donated food in stock. So we know that we're going to have to cover that gap in expenses. So it's going to allow that. The Angel Fund is another avenue of that. And the Angel Fund will allow for funding to be available so that the pets that are in the homes of these shut-in seniors, they couldn't get out to get food. They then Next step is they're not going to be able to afford or get out to and afford veterinary care for their animals. Mm -hmm. So we will be able to care for those animals, provide that veterinary care in approved situations, but actually have funding through this match challenge so that we can provide that care, but it will not have a direct impact on that operating budget that we're already responsible for. Sure. We can't take on any more. Sure. And then the third section of that uh, this effort and project is gonna to be to replace our mobile medical unit. So the mobile medical unit allows us to take the doctor along with a, a room, the vet, the, the exam room and everything to these different locations, not only for these shut-in seniors throughout the community, but we will be able to re-engage in our lower socioeconomic uh, efforts where we would take our unit out, park it in different areas where people have a lot of pets but maybe do not realize that we offer these services sure. to the public and they themselves can't get there as well. How incredible and big things happening. I, wow, kudos to that man. If you're listening out there, oh, gosh, it's speechless. It's incredible, truly. Humane Society of Pinellas.org. That's the website. You're looking at it right there. That's how you can help out. Volunteer your time, volunteer some financial assistance, any way you want to look at it. Maybe even adopt a pet. All right, check it out while we go to break. That is fantastic. Welcome back to Bayside. I'm your host, Shelly Sanders, and I get the privilege to see this precious little face. Jimmy, you were just looking at him. And yes, he will be up for adoption at the Humane Society of Pinellas, which is what we're talking about here with Miss Twyla Cole, good friend of the show. Twyla, we were just talking about uh, an absolute angel, a blessing to P Humane Society of Pinellas when we left out on the break talking about his anonymous donation. 
He'll match dollar for dollar for anything that you donate to the Humane Society of uh, Pinellas between now and the end of the year up to a hundred thousand dollars i'm curious do you have an estimation of do you know where you're at at this point or we're, do you know we're not not quite a third there not yet. quite a third there yep we've had some um, other things that have come up in the last couple sure. of months so with the expansion of our pet clinic um, we we had to dedicate some fundraising first so that sure. we could move the pet clinic up the road um, and get that ball rolling but you know what, the, the citizens here in the Tampa Bay area in Pinellas are amazing and I have seen miracles happen, especially when it comes to you guys. Yeah. You guys are incredible. That's really not a whole lot for them to raise for Humane Society of Pinellas. I mean, so the challenge is on up to $100,000. Yeah. So you still, you need still about, about 600. Yeah. What's 600,000? <laughs> right but your bit. supporters they're there for that that's right. incredible so yeah. that's your your challenge match grant yeah. okay you got another big fundraiser coming up we talk do. to me about it our golden paw gala this is our signature annual dinner where we bring together our donors and supporters uh, for a night of really letting them know how their every dollar makes a difference we say it all the time but we in one evening we wrap up a, a program to share with them what their dollars have allowed us to do the lives that, they, that they've allowed us to save, share with them the upcoming activities, things and needs, and, and really let them know what the next year holds so that we, we need them to continue to help. Our, our job is never done. So the Golden Paw Gala wraps all of that in together. Also, we do some awards. So we'd love to thank you. Touched on it, volunteers. We have over 50,000 hours are donated every year to wow. our shelter and we couldn't do what we do without our volunteers That's so incredible. every year the peers nominate one of their volunteers to be the volunteer of the year so we can't wait to uh, announce and pass that along we have our community volunteer of the year this year um, it's going to be miss laura fletcher a lot of people know about laura she's been working in the transport industry uh, not industry but helping with transports for pets for a uh, at least a decade, oh, if wow. not longer. And it uh, plays an imperative role in helping animals get to the Tampa Bay area where we do have resources here. We're not the only shelter that is able to help animals. And so we have a, a great community here, um, mm -hmm. both internal, again, in the sheltering side of it, and all of our shelters run on donations and, and none of us could do it without that. So Miss Laura and her team are very responsible in bringing many animals here to the Tampa Bay area um, and into Florida across the board so wow. we can't wait to honor and share more about her story and then we also have a youth volunteer of the year award Aww. so that allows us to share the impact that we have with children over 4,000 children every year are connected with the Humane Society of Pinellas to learn about being kind to animals and really teach them about responsible pet ownership and it, it's interesting the story is all very much intertwined and this year's youth volunteer uh, first got connected with a story about the Senior Pet Connection. Wow. Started to, as a child, get food donated to help the seniors. And to hear his story about putting that together from a child's perspective, to think about the elderly. Uh, not, not everybody makes that big giant le leap. Mm -hmm. and, and he really recognized the importance young and has made a, a big difference this year. It's amazing what one child can do. It's a beautiful thing, yeah, isn't so it? Our awards help to share our story also. Oh, that's fantastic. Yeah. So if you're wanting more information about that, of course, you can get tickets, mm -hmm. solo tickets yeah. start at what, 100 and yep. then They're sponsorships? $100 a piece. Yep, sponsorships start at 250 and go up. So it's amazing for businesses sure. to be able to show and feature that they want to help homeless pets and, and save animals' lives. But Absolutely. for the individuals that come also, please come. and. If you know about us, you get to really get the story and the, the meat behind the, the story. Sure. And if you don't know us, it's a great way to be introduced. Absolutely. And if you need more of an introduction, you guys hold open houses all the time. You can come out and tour the facility. And you can find all that information online at their website, Humane Society of Pinellas.org. You're looking at that site right there. I encourage you, get a ticket to the gala. It's so much fun. I imagine you'll have silent auction items as well. Absolutely. It's always a good time. Um, but you can also learn more about how to take part in one of these open houses 
or volunteer. And there's always donations. Don't go anywhere. We'll be back. You go log on to the website, humanesocietyofpinellas.org. Welcome back to Bayside. I'm your host, Shelley Sanders, here with Twyla Cole of the Humane Society of Pinellas, and of course, this adorable Jimmy. Oh my goodness. He is, he is, he is all about just being comfortable, isn't he? He is. He I know my so spot. He's so well behaved. <laughs> I mean, really and truly, yeah. from the moment he got here, it's like he, he belongs here. Yeah. And, okay, so for, this is just a perfect example of what your monies go to, what your time and volunteering goes to help. Little puppies like this. Yeah. And other animals as well, of course, but today we've got Jimmy here, and Jimmy is a hoot. Um, yeah. I mean... I can't he's, even. He's the showstopper, isn't he? He is. And, and he doesn't do anything. No, <laughs> <laughs> no he's just, he's he's just so too cute to do anything. I know. He's okay, so, so we were talking about, when we went to break, we were talking about your fantastic Golden Paw event that's mm -hmm. coming up September yeah. 29th, yeah. by the way, from 6 to 9 p.m. Mm -hmm. at the fantastic, what a great venue, yes. Sheraton Sand Key Resort. Yeah. So, okay, wow. Do you still need silent auction items? Absolutely, we're still collecting that final phase of silent auction items. Uh, for live auction, we really focus on experiences. So if somebody has something mm. really cool out there, come and talk to us about it. Uh, we've got a few things laid out, so, uh, but, but we're always open to new ideas, more ideas. So if there's a live auction experience out there, definitely hit us up. Hands, hands. For sure. <laughs> but yeah, certainly donations. We do accept those up to that last week to help ensure we've got great packages. We want something for everybody because it is about raising money to Absolutely. help care for these animals. It costs about $500 for every animal that comes wow. through the door. And then for cases like Jimmy where he needed a dental and blood work and other things, we're looking at at least $300, $300 more on average for those extra cases. And we take in a lot of extra cases. Sure. So at the end of the day, it truly is about ensuring that we can raise money so that we can continue to help as many animals as we possibly can. Absolutely. And you guys do a phenomenal job. Uh, phenomenal job. I cannot say it enough. I encourage you to get out and take a tour of the Humane Society of Pinellas. I mean, they're, they'll take you through there, show you what's going on. You get a real full understanding of just how everything works over there. And frankly, you'll fall in love. You'll fall in love with not just the animals, you'll fall in love with the people as we have with Miss Twyla Cole. Every time she comes here, she brings somebody else another little animal that we fall in love with so big things are going on over there and don't forget about the challenge match grant yes. from now until the end of the year every dollar that you donate specifically to that particular mm -hmm. challenge up to a hundred thousand dollars I think my math was way off earlier but who cares <laughs> let's bring it to a six hundred thousand keep, keep it coming Whatever. <laughs> But either way, I wasn't going to stop you. <laughs> we'll take a six hundred thousand dollar yes. check, right? Either way, math not my forte, but we'll take the money. Correct? Yes. I mean, it goes to benefit good things. You know, yeah. one thing about it that I love when people talk about, you know, well, animals. I don't know. It really becomes a people thing. Mm -hmm. I mean, at the end of the day, because when you bring them to connect, like the senior pet connection, it's been proven time and time again. It extends the life of those. It helps people with illnesses. Um, with terminal illnesses, children with illness. I mean, so it becomes, at the end of the day, it becomes a people issue mm -hmm. as well. Okay. So big things going on over there. Yeah. I love when you come. Thank you. So if, the, if there's one final thought you want to leave our viewers with, what would it be? Let's get involved. There's so many ways to get involved. You may be looking to adopt as we keep talking about, we're may way much more than adopt. <laughs> I can't help but laugh. Never mind, just adopt. Yeah, I'm just saying, look no. at this guy. He's yeah. smiling. Yeah. He says, I got a final thought. Check out this face, just, right? Just see me here. Oh, my yeah. goodness. If anything, to add another smile to yeah. these little pooches' yeah. faces, I swear. It's killing me. Just killing me. So get out. Get involved. Yeah. Like Twyla said, mm -hmm. I tell you, week after week. All right. How do you do that? Well, you start by logging on to humanesocietyofpinellas.org. That's humanesocietyofpinellas.org. Of course, we'll have a link for you on our website, cw44.com as well. Why don't you check it out? We're going to break.
As always, I want to thank you at home for joining us this week on Bayside. And of course, Twyla, thank you for bringing in Jimmy. I mean, this dog is ridiculous. I love him. Who doesn't? Who wouldn't love that face? Okay, <laughs> get out. Get involved in your community. I tell you every single week. The Golden Paw Gala coming up on the 29th of September. Get your tickets now. Volunteer. To be, take part in the challenge match. Challenge match grant, yes. dollar for dollar, up to $100,000 before December 31st. All right, humanesocietyofpinellas.org or a link on CW44.com. Got to go. We'll see you next time.